or Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Ryot Rakoff from the Cleveland Branch GMS. Coming back at you with another lesson through the power and spirit of the Most High and the Son, who the world only calls God and Jesus Christ. But in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, we would know the Father as Yahweh, which means He is, He exists, or He to be. And for the Son, it would be Yahweh Shah, which means He's the Savior or He's the Deliverer for the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians on your father's side. Because according to the scriptures, the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18, you are what you are through the house of your father. Because your father, the man, carried the seed and plants the seed into the woman, man. So before I get into this lesson, I like to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the real truly is of all Israel on earth today, if you can receive it. Peace, love, and blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect, man, and to the few sisters, the few Akwathium that listen and learn, to y'all I say Shalom, and to the confusion, the Brothers that might look like the other nations, but they bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But you in those other nations through slavery, y'all are the Hebrew Israelites, man. And uh, today I'm just going on who is the word for, who is the word given to, and why. So without further ado, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. And it reads, he showeth his word unto Jacob, who was Jacob, our forefather, through the spirit, us, because you are who your father are. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgments unto Israel. So the law and the Punishments for the law was unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Hold on, hold on. So the Lord not dealing with all nations, not according to the Bible. Verse 20, it says, he hath not dealt so with any nation. And as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So the Lord only dealing with his nation. His chosen people, the nation of Israel. And why is that? Let's go to the book of Joel and see. This is the book of Joel, chapter. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. It reads, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. He said he only are God. So that's why he only showed us the laws, the statutes, and the commandments. Because he only punished those that he deal with his sons, man. And he only know us. That's like if your child was to go outside with someone else's child. And you tell your child, don't go past the stop sign. And him and his buddy... Go past the stop sign around the corner. When they come back, whose ass is you go whoop? You go whoop your child ass because that's your child. Let's go to the book of Amos. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. It reads, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which are brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. He say he show his word unto us, his statutes and his judgment unto us. He say he our God and that's it. He say out of all the families of the earth, he only know us. Come on, man. That's cut and dry, man. Straight to the point, man. He only deal with. With the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native and Seminole Indians. That's why we're on the bottom, in the barrios, in the ghetto, on 
reservations because we broke his laws, his statutes, and his commandments, man. So we can't even be mad at the other nations, even though we can, but we need to be mad at ourselves for being hard-headed and disobedient children, man. But in the end, guess what happens? Revelations. Revelation. Chapter 21 and verse 12. It reads, and had a wall. Hold on. Let me start at the top and jump down. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. So we're talking about the kingdom now. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven. Which, when you learn in church, it says one big pearly gate for everybody, and it's for all nations. But let's see what the Bible say. Let's see what our God say. Yahweh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 12. And had a wall, great and high, and had 12 gates. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It ain't just one big pearly gate. It's 12 gates. Guess what else it is? It's 12 tribes too. And at the gates, 12 angels. And the names written thereon. So it's names written on these gates. Let's see what these names are. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Because the kingdom of heaven is for you Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Central Indians, man. Because the promise was to our forefather, Abraham. Then it got passed down to Isaac and through Isaac, it got passed down to Jacob and through Jacob, it got passed down to his sons and his daughters, to his seed, to their seed. Seed is sperm, is children. So the kingdom of heaven is for you Israelites to rule. Now let's jump to the book of Daniel. The book of John, Daniel chapter 2. Verse 44, it reads, and in those days, the kings of the earth, hold on, hold on, and in the days of the kings, hold on, hold on, Salaki, this is Daniel chapter 2, verse 44, and in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. So the God of heaven go set up a kingdom, man, huh, which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. So that's that kingdom of heaven, man, that shall be left to other people because it's only for you Israelites to rule. That's it, man. Point blank period, man. It's for us, man. It's for us, man. All the, all the hell and tribulation that we go through. All the things that we go through, come on, man. We deserve it, man. We deserve it, man. Jump back to Revelation and close up. Revelation 7 and... 7... And... I'm going to... I'm going to start at the top and just skim through it. Seven and one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, which re represents the destruction, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and to the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel.
Simple as that, man. So the ones that got sealed was the Israelites. And I heard mm, mm, mm. of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. And so on and so, so on and so forth, man. The ones that got sealed was the elect, the governing body, the men of the nation of Israel, man. The kingdom is for ours and it won't be left to no other people, man. So with that, I hope y'all was edified. Shalom. Uh, off to the next one.